Hey everybody, it's Crafty Kitty, and I'm here to share with you an awesome uh, thrift store haul, kind of collective, had it for a while, haven't shared it, going to share it now, so let's do that. Alright, so I got these, which are 4x6, um, photo sheet holders, which I'm going to probably try and do a different type of pocket letter with these, just to see how that works. I also got, I found these at the, okay, this was from the Salvation Army. I found these cute little bear stickers, and originally, I guess they're from what was Target up here in Canada, so I got those. I got these, which are, I think, I'm not sure what they are actually, tell you the truth, but let's open it up. I think they're coasters or, or flashcards. Let's try this again. And they were $1.99. I think they're from Ikea, at any rate. We can tell, because of that. Oh, they're coasters. Okay, cool. Oh, no, oh, they are a memory card game with coasters. Alrighty, cool. So they got these. They're pretty cool. Oh, that looks like a mad little puppy. <laughs> that looks like a sad one. And that's a little bum of a puppy. <laughs> or a bunny. A bunny. <laughs> So yeah, we got all these little cute things in here. Oh, little fox is trapped. Okay, so those are cool. I can use those for something other than a game. The box itself is cute too. Look at that. That's so cool. So yeah, got that. I also got these, which are Fairies in the Garden alphabet cards wall art. And they were... Well, $7.99. But if I know me, I had a coupon when I bought these things. Because there would be no way. <laughs> so. Let's open them up. I have ones like these. I think I showed them to you. They're on my wall upstairs. But they are not uh, fairy cards. What does this say fairies? Fairies in the garden alphabet cards me it looks like they're just flowers <laughs> in the garden so you got these with the alphabets oh i guess there's a little fairy right there okay so they're in here somewhere i guess uh, i don't think that's a fairy it's more like a snail there's a little fairy sitting on this one so yeah i'm gonna put these in frames and use them during spring to uh to decorate my wall with so cool. That's what they look like. That's pretty cool. And I got the bird I got bird ones that were pretty cool. Here's the back. Just show you. So not bad. Of course there's 26 because there's 26 in the alphabets. Put that over there. And I also found these are from Stampin' Up. And they are the paper pumpkin um, thing. So little socks. You get to make little socks in here. And they have stickers and stuff in here. They're kind of bent with labels. I don't know why I did that. But anyways, these are what you can make. Pretty cool. Maybe I'll make a Christmas stocking banner. And then we have this one, which is paper pumpkin layered leaves. Little gift boxes. And this is everything that comes with it. Really liking all this stuff that's in here. Like even the gold leaves and stuff. Uh, when I decide to play with it, I will take it out of the package then. I don't want to lose anything, so that's why I'm leaving it in the package. So maybe we'll do a craft with me video. And then, of course, one of my all-time favorite things to always get 
is this. I got myself a cute clock. I'm just going to have to push you up a bit so that you can see this. Because I don't know why. So yeah, got myself another clock. It was $4.99. Pretty sure, yeah, I did have a coupon. But it's a nice red clock. Just in time for Christmas. Put a little bow up here or something. You know, decorate it up. Awesome. <laughs> so that was that. We'll put this back in the bag. Maybe not these. We'll leave those out. Because they're getting kind of bent in the bag. So, I also got, so there's a different haul from a bunch, from Value Village and in places. So, let's just finish, let's do the Value Village first. Hold on a minute. So I got these, this necklace, with these awesome beads. I am going to try and make some dangles or one of those pointy thingies. And I did have a coupon for anything that's Value Village 20% off. This was $2.99, which was okay. I found this, all this lace here for $3.99 less 20%. And a thing of tool. But this is why I initially bought these was for this. Because I have tons of tool. But I don't have this minty green lace. I got some nice beautiful white lace. And some kind of rosy colored chiffon with a gold trim on it. So that was pretty cool. And like I said, a bunch of tool. But I have more tool than I know what to do with. So I'm just going to wrap that back up in the box. I found this. Now this was an awesome find. These are all the little binder rings. And these are, you get like a hundred in this box. And I got three boxes and it was $4.99 less 20%. Oh, hopefully it wants to show you. So yeah, so I think I'm set up with rings for my, my books that I make for a while. <laughs> Can't go wrong with those. That was a good buy. And I also found this whole little bag of stamps. It was $4.99 less 20%. So it looks like some of these are from, well, I think all of them are from Michaels. But there are all kinds of different little alphabets. It doesn't look like some of them came out of the little package even. So I don't know if you guys remember dollar... Um, Michael's used to have a $1.50 bin or $1.25 bin, and they always had these cute little stamps inside there. These are great because I always like to add them in to give us a, a little gift in the pocket letters. But I got a whole whack of them. So, like, I mean, and they're all different. <laughs> so, pretty cool. Girlfriends. This one just says smile. I know you can't see them very well. Let's see if I put them behind the pink one. There we go. I'm not going to show you them all because we'll be here forever otherwise. But suffice it to say, there is a ton in here. There are no Halloween ones, but there are all kinds of friendship ones in here. But I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 little stickers for $4.99 less 20%. So for $3.99, I got a ton. Awesome. Oh, 25. <laughs> there was still one in the bag. So a cool 25 set of stickers, or stickers, um, stamps. And that's pretty cool. So I'm going to drop this back inside my bag. Because they're little. I don't need them getting all over the place. I'm just making sure I got everything out of here. And I got another roll of uh, things. That was, this one was $3.99. 
got this nice tool that has all kinds of wiggly lines, some chiffon with pink lace, some flower ribbon, the pink chiffon with uh, silver and little dots on it in here. So yeah, I know lots of pink. <laughs> Let me just double check that I got everything I want. Let's show you the opening. Got one couple little things in here. Still I got little bags and stuff. I think. I got another box. Doesn't have any sayings on it. It's from the Salvation Army, this one. So nothing wrong on the inside. It's all good. No, it's just a little dirty on the bottom but I can wipe that off it was originally from home sense and it was a dollar 99 for this so pretty cool so the other thing I got was a cute little keychain for my collection yes it was 4.99 less 20 percent so it was like 3.99 for this which is pretty cool and it is doctor who the 11th doctor I like, I like watching Doctor Who. It's pretty good. <laughs> I like now that the Doctor is a woman in Doctor Who. So, pretty cool. And then there's this bag of stickers. A lot of these were ripped open. $3.99. Again, less, you know, 20%. This one I picked up because it had... Not because of this. This is foam primer. But hey, I didn't realize, you know, if you put this on the foam, you can do some stuff with it. <laughs> imagine that i got uh these little creative year cards look like this on the back originally they were 3.99 on clearance at michael's got this cute little i don't even know what it is i'm not sure um i think it's a a U or a V or a C, it depends on you. Look. It's a little iron on letter. Now, the reason I bought this one was because inside there was this Sizzix die. Uh, for and it was a it was on clearance for ten dollars, but it was originally thirty dollars. So, you know, wow, that was pretty good. And it hasn't even been used, it's still in there, has never been ripped open. So, awesome deal. Got some little glossy alphabet yellow stickers never been used we got stickers this one was on sale so it's like canada stuff it's like great great adventure scenic a of course <laughs> that's not stereotypical at all about a canadian hey eh? <laughs> also there was these football rub-ons or stickers yeah stickers i don't know what i'll do with those because i don't have anything to do with football then i got this cute little recollections fireman um stickers too it's pretty cool then i can open up this one it was 4.99 this one i got because you can obviously see why i got this one <laughs> right there and I couldn't believe it. Now, did get some of these um, Christmas cookie boxes. They were a dollar originally from Dollarama. So we got the little green ones. We got some blue. We got one, two, three of each, it looks like. So yeah, three each. Uh, three cookie boxes. So, snowflakes. Then again, who knows? Maybe I don't have to use them as cookie boxes. I could always just pop a whole bunch of uh, punches through these and use the the cardboard for something else because who am I going to give cookies to? <laughs> Probably I could give cookies to people, but yeah. This was what was inside there that caught my eye. It was the Tim Holtz 8x8. Um, it is called Christmas Noel. So cool. I can't even believe I got a Christmas one right off the bat. And it hasn't even been opened. It's still sealed on the side. So let me just open this up for you. Try not to rip the cover. Oh my goodness gracious. 
I don't know what they use map tack on this stuff to keep it down. Like, holy moly. <laughs> well, I don't know where my little uh, slicer is either. Holy moly, it doesn't want to open up. Oh, well, I just pulled that out. It, it, oh, you can't even see it. Good color to pick. Let's see. Can you see it on that one? Yeah, there we go. It's a piece of acetate with um, snowflakes on it. Cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see if I can get this side open. I just want to do a quick flip through for you guys. There we go. And there is one more inside here as well. So pretty cool. There we go. That is pretty nice. Reminds me of a cozy sweater. Oh, pretty. That's the back side of this. There's this one. So this one. Wood. Wood background and trees. Some wording. Some plaid. Oh, pretty pretty. And this, oh, this is Velvet Dots. Cool. With a very fussy pattern on the back. It's kind of hard on the eyes. And then, of course, there's some stars on ledger paper. That's the back side of that one. And then, of course, there's the acetate. So that's pretty cool. And this was originally $15 on the list. That's crazy town. So I got that. I can stay up there because I'm going to play with that afterwards. Um, what else do I have in this bag for you guys to show? I have this baggie full of stuff that I got from another strip store, which I think was the Missions Bible, yeah, Mission, Mission Bible Belts. These are bookmarks, tabbed, goes inside, different styles and stuff. I'll figure out what I can do with those. I'm pretty sure I can figure something out. Kind of crafty that way. <laughs> Then there's this old stickers. These are from Dollarama from a long time ago, but they're Christmas. Then there's these ones. I'm trying to get that glare out of there for you. So yeah, got those, and they're kind of embossed. I'm gonna save this for last to show you. I found these die cuts of just paper flowers some um words again this is from dollarama i'm always on the lookout for word stickers and these came in two on each side thank goodness because when i make my embellishments i always like to put a little word on them i found these cute little halloween stickers i found another package of those and then i found these old i'm not sure I think this might have been a garland at one time, or it could still be a garland, but it was just all kind of, looked like little ephemera pieces of Christmas. Old reindeers, there's Santa inside there somewhere too, because you can see his feet sticking out. I got these little canvas circles. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with these things, but what the hey. I got these little baby invitations. I kind of like those. I'm going to use those in a baby album. Uh, what else? Did I oh, I got some little, um, I don't even know what these are. Look like rattan. Um, what did they say there? Stem wires. <laughs> it's fine by me. And then I found this, which was pretty cool. It says, that 70s yarn. That is cool. I love this. I got to figure out what I want to do with this. I was going to use it, make some tassels like my friend Thelma, but then I had a different idea. And now I'm just going to wait and see if that idea comes to fruitation because, you know, it's very easy to get an idea up in your head. It's very hard to get it out of your head. <laughs> so I got that and I really love the colors. I thought they were pretty cool. I also got this big hunk of velvety ribbon it's Lux celebrate it which is michael's brand so it was 99 cents 
Uh, let's see what else. And I have a whole bunch of stickers. I mean, there's just tons in here. So let me just drop this all back inside my, my bag here. Get it out of the way. Because I'd like to share with you guys. I'm going to leave my thinlets up there. Anyways, it is a bunch of different stickers and stuff. I'm not going to show you everything because there's that many in there. And I don't think we want to sit around waiting for that. So, I'll just show you a few highlights in here. I got these from that were part of Martha Stewart. These cute little Halloween or Christmas stickers. Are, I don't know where they came from, what store, but they're all cute epoxy button stickers. Little snowman. There's also these. I think these are forever in time, just by judging from the, the thing that's on there. I can honestly say, I've never seen this one before. With all kinds of stuff. Pogo and Croquette de Poulet. Uh, Poutine. Yep, that's definitely Canadian. <laughs> and there's this. Hey, let's see. I'll just find the interesting stuff to show you. How about that? Because not everything is going to be kept. I found these ones, these little woodland creature ones. Oh, I got these little swirls. Let's see. I'm trying to get that light out of there. There we go. Now, I bought a light so that I could use it when I'm doing my videos. It tends to be more trouble than it's worth some days. <laughs> uh, got these beautiful flower stickers. Got these Christmas ones. Little buttons, snowflakes, everything else. Little bits of this and that. This was funny. I've never seen these before, but they, I guess they're from Diane's. They're just die cuts of words. New Year, Valentine's Day, I guess, is what's inside there. Anyways, I bought this for a big $5, this entire bag. This is Kane Company, a bunch of little heart stickers. That's about all I'm going to show you out of this bag, because... Like I said, there's just so many of them, and I can't show you all, or this video would be 50 years long. But I'll show you the piece de resistance that I found. I found this whole bag of 1950 household ephemera stuff. Oh my god, I don't even know who makes this, but look at that. That's a card, Fab Gear. Ooh, it says Fab Gear Uncle Bob. Well, I'm going to have to go look this guy up, this up on the, on Facebook and see what it is. But I mean, it has all kinds of cute ephemera stuff inside here. The thing is, do I want to open it? I mean, every piece of this is cool To I wish I had a, something that, a staple remover. Ow, I just poked my fingers with a staple. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, goody, it stays in the bag. Cool, I don't have to rip it open. But it, is, it says replicas on it, obviously. But oh, look at that. Radio rentals. It's like little pamphlets and everything. This is like <laughs> too cool. RCA television. The family doctor. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's just all kinds of cool ephemera stuff in here. <laughs> uh Easter Fashion News, 1958. Oh, look, it's an actual... Cool. Got to open up like this. Is that not neat? I think we're going to have to do a, a different video, and I'll share this with you guys. I don't want this video to be longer than it already is, so we'll go through that again another time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had fun going through my thrift haul with me. I hope you all are doing really well, staying happy, healthy, and safe. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so you know when I add new videos to my channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you know when I do post new videos on my channel. So thanks for all for watching. 
I hope you liked the video and let's all get crafty. Bye.